So the story goes, from the urban legend, the monkey who was murdered unjustly. So anyway, the monkey belonged to Mr. Hinklesburg. And he was a great monkey. He was about seven years old. Well, the monkey was dyeing his hair for him because the guy liked red hair. It got all over the monkey's fur and on his fingernails and, you know, so he had red all over him. Big deal, right? This was very common in the Hinklesburg household. Anyway, so the monkey was eating, um, spaghetti, you know, spaghetti sauce. And you know, the shit gets all over you, right? And the cops had the wrong address for burglary and they burst into the house. And here's this monkey with red shit all over, it looked like blood, brains, right? Now, Mr. Hinklesbury was passed out at the kitchen table. And because he was a heavy drinker and that was like normal for him and At that angle it looked like the monkey was eating his brains so the cop pulled out his gun from his harness Holy shit And he This is this is really sad he shot the monkey Yes, he didn't shock the monkey which he could have. He could have used the taser. Nope. Instead, he shot the monkey. Yep. Now, if the monkey shot him, then he would have shot the sheriff. Anyway, so this monkey got shot, and he didn't need to be shot. It's kind of, kind of really sad, because the monkey did nothing wrong. He was a great monkey, actually. He was a um, clairvoyant. Oh, I got a message. Sorry, I gotta go.